So let's consider another exam question to conclude our revisions on our transient. Uh, this is November 2023 exam. We are given on question number one. Uh, that was 1.1. In a simple RSC circuit, we are given the resistance and the capacitance value. Okay. And a supply, the supply is 10 volts. How long will it take? For the capacitor voltage, take note. Let, let's be together there. For the capacitor voltage to rise to 6.32 volts if the capacitor was initially discharged. It was initially discharged, then the voltage is now connected. So when the voltage is connected, what, what happens? We are now talking of what? The charging state. So in the charging state that is happening, they are saying the capacitor voltage is now at 6.32 volt. It is now at, that is the value it rises to. Not it rises by. If it rises by, you add. But this one, it has raised to that, it is now at that value, our capacitor voltage. Okay, if you do not uh, figure out, you are going to have a lot of calculations because... This voltage that we are given here, if we consider the definition of a, the time constant of an RC circuit, let's consider our RC circuit. We're saying that was the time taken for the circuit to reach a steady state value conditions after disturbance. But in those period of rise that is going to happen, the voltages, currents, they will be at what? at 63.2% practically of what? The original value, the initial, the one that we have on, on our voltage. Is it voltage, the total voltage? Is it the total current? At 63.2%, the time that op that she has taken to, to, to reach that percentage is referred to as the time constant, if you still remember the definition of our time constant. And I talked about this percentage, if you still remember. So that percentage here, it, it, I mean, this value 6,32, it has something, 6,32, 6, 63. Let's check if it is that, if, if it is that is the case. VC, because we have got the total voltage in that case, that which is what, 10 volts. So VC is equal to what? 63%, 63,2%. Times the total voltage at time constant. So let's see if it is exactly the one. 63,2 over what? 100. You multiply to the total voltage, which is our VM, which is 10. So multiplying this, guys, it was going to give us exactly 6,32 volts, which is our VC. So this voltage, it's at 63.2%. So if this voltage, guys, is at a 63.2% of the total voltage. That's the time constant, the time taken to reach that. We are talking of the time constant. The time taken to reach 63.2% of the supply voltage, VDC, is the time constant is the time constant tau. So they are simply asking you to calculate tau there. So what is tau in an RC circuit? That is resistance times capacitance, remember? So resistance is there. You are given from our values resistance, 100 kilo ohms, 100 times 10 to the exponent of 3 times the capacitance value, 22 microfarad, 22 times 10 to the exponent of negative 9. Remember, micro, uh, nano, nano, so this is nano, nanofarad minus 9. So that was going to give us the value of tau, which is 0, uh, 0,022 seconds, giving us something like if you multiply by 1,000 or 10 to the exponent of 3, it was going to be 2,2 milliseconds. That is the tau, the time constant they are asking there. But in a condition that you did not understand that maybe, because this is exam, guys, you're an exam then, you do not understand. It was a lucky enough question that because they tried even to give us a lot of values that we consider. 
So you're going to simply take your information. Let's say you're under exam and you have forgotten that condition. Okay, this is it. That's another way that we could have answered this. We are told that VC is what? It's 6, 3, 2 volts. We are told, we are given that. 6,32 volts. And VM, the total voltage, it was 10 volts. Uh, the resistance value, 100 uh, kilo ohms. Our capacitance, uh, 22 nanofarad. This is the information that you're given. And the question is asking how long, meaning to say you need to calculate the time. So you have to ask yourself, which is it that you're given that is uh, that is consist of a time? Definitely, it is the VC. But you're talking of what? Initially, it was discharged, but when the voltage is connected, I said this is what? A charging state. This is a charging state. You remember when we talked about our calculations under the charging state, Vc is equal to what? Uh, Vm into 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. This is the charging state. When it is a condition, of a discharge, we saw that Vc was equal to Vm e to the exponent of minus t over tau. This is a discharge. We are talking about charging. Initially, it was discharged, but now we are charging. Now we are charging. Okay, very sorry for that. Now we are charging this. The condition there is charging. So the formula there. Then we can substitute and calculate the time. Remember how long time so what is it that we need to calculate the time are we having vm it is there vc is there are we having the time constant tau we do not have so you're going to calculate the time constant in a usual way i want you to see something there you're going to you're, you're be surprised guys you see tau is equal to what rc you're going to find your tau in a normal way resistance times the boss remember you're saying we do you not realize that this is another way. You did not realize that, guys. So you're going to use this 100 times 10 to the exponent of 3. You are calculating the answer not knowing that you are actually calculating the answer here. You have to calculate your tau uh, 0, 0,0022 seconds, the one that we got. But it's only that you are not knowing that this is my answer because of the condition of that percentage voltage there. Then you want to use your normal way. You're going to substitute. It was fine. 6,3,2 is equal to Vm 10 into 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t. Remember, we want to calculate t, where the tau is given as what? 0, 0,0022 seconds. Find t. The normal way that we are used to divide by what? By 10 both sides, divide by 10 both sides. So this was going to be uh, 0, 0,632 is equal to 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t over what? 0, 0,0022. So remember that we need to calculate um, this part of time. So we're going to take this to the other side, the E. It becomes a positive, okay? So E to the exponent of minus T over uh, 0, 0,0022 is equal to what? Once you take the 0, 0,36 this side, it was going to be a minus. So it's 1 minus 0, 0,632. The difference there is the one that you need. Uh, that's uh, 0, 0,3. 6a, the difference. Remember I said to get rid of the e because of this exponent, simply introduce a lin and a lin so that we drop the exponent. Minus t over what? 0, 0,0022. The lin of e, which is 1, so there's no effect of writing that lin of e here, is equal to lin of 0, 0,368. All right, let's find our T due to the cross multiplication, this and that. You are going to have your T as 0, 0,0022, the lean of uh, 0, 0,368. With a negative, you remove it by dividing. Also, well, there's a negative T there, so it will be negative here. So that's our T. So simplifying this, guys, uh, from that, it was going to give us a very like uh, 0, 0,00. 2, 1, 9, 9, something like that. Which you can easily see that is the, exactly the value that we had 0, 0.022 seconds. The one that you calculated. We are simply calculating because you're going to round off this. So it's going to be 0, 0.022 seconds. We just calculated that time in a disguised manner, not knowing that it is the time constant. So this, this, could, this was going to be another way if 
let's say you did not understand this condition, you are still going to reach there. You are still going to, to reach there. All right. So let's hope you understand, guys, this. Know your percentage. The six, uh, the 63.2 percent of the total voltage or total current, it's at a time constant. Once you see that, even for uh, the RL circuit, same condition, same percentage. Remember that. All right. 1.2, a critically damned RL, critically damped. I said something about that, that whenever it is a critically damped, there is a condition from our natural frequency that we take that 1 over LC will be equal to R squared over 4 L squared. Remember, from your FN formula, which is 1 over 2 pi, the square root of 1 over LC minus R squared over 4 L squared. This part under the square root is one that we are relating about damping. So when critically damped, they will be exactly equal. So the question is that we are given a resistance of 10 ohms there and an inductance of 2 Henry's, and they want you to calculate the value of the capacitor. We had a certain question like this, but we calculated inductance, if you still remember. I think it was August 2023, where we manipulated and met early the subject, we want the one that you wanted. This time it's not early, it's the capacitance. So make C the subject. Okay, just like that. Cross multiply. LC times R squared is going to be LC R squared, this one. Then 1 multiplies 4L squared is going to be 4L uh, squared. We need to calculate the value of the, we need this one, the capacitor. So we're going to divide by L R squared, both sides. So divide by L R squared by L R squared. This was going to cancel and cancel. You've got C, which is equal to what? Let's make this the subject. The L and the L, they can cancel, guys, so that you just read this as what? As 4L over what? R squared. So with this, you can substitute your values. That's 4 times inductance value, which is 2 over resistance squared, 10 squared. So this was going to give us the value of the capacitor uh, value. And our capacitance uh, in this case was going to be 0 0.08 farads, which is something very, very rare for us to have a very uh, small value like that one. We are, I mean, like the bigger value like this, we are used to those Smaller values like maybe it's 8 microfarad. When you talk of 8 times 10 to the exponent of minus 6, where it's 0, 0,0000. Not something that is big like this. But anyways, it can be like that. It's an exam question. They just need you to understand the use and the manipulation of the formula to find what you're being asked. Remember, that's exam. Just like that. All right, let's check on 1.3. On 1.3, we are given a condition that a fluorescent lamp has a coil with three Henry's inductance, and this resistance is powered by 120 volt DC source. Calculate the value of the following. Calculate the following. So it's a fluorescent lamp that we have, and we have got everything there. Okay, let's see. 1.3, that's the data. We have got inductance, three Henry's. Uh, the resistance value, which is 15 ohms, is powered by 15. That is the DC volts, our PM, 120 volts. So the question was on 1.31, calculate the value of the current flowing through the lamp at 85% of full brightness. At 85%. So this one is a direct question, guys, because... Uh, remember, they are telling you at full brightness. So it's going to be like this. The current that we need is going to be 85%. At full brightness, it means we are using the total current in the second IM. That is at full brightness. So 85% of that is the one that we need. Just like that. At full brightness, that is the IM that we are talking about, which is taken from the initial conditions that we have in when we are given the voltage and what so what is our im there we can calculate this im can be calculated uh straightforward uh from this so you can have our im from voltage and resistance so that's vdc which is vm over resistance so our voltage it was 120 resistance being 15 ohms so with this you are going to have uh the current of eight amperes 
That's our current IM. With this current IM, we can now calculate the I that we are given, which is at 85% of the full brightness when 8 amps was being used. So that's the 85%, which is going to be 6.8 amperes. So it was a, just a direct question, this one, guys. Uh, that's how questions sometimes can be like. Then on another question, uh, 1.32. The value of the current flowing through the lamp at a time 0, 0.3 seconds after switch on, when it is connected, when the switch is on, meaning to say we are talking about a growth. This is the condition of a growth. Remember I talked about growth and a decay under uh, inductive circuit. So I under growth, how do we calculate this uh, when, when, when the voltage is connected? We say this is I m e to 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. When the switch is removed, meaning to say it is a dk, i is equal to I m e to the exponent of minus t over tau. This is a dk, the switch is removed. But for a growth, this is what we're going to use. The switch is on, it's connected. So they are saying calculate the current there from this. So the question, are we having I am? Remember, we calculated I am when we wanted to calculate the first equation. So it's already there. We need time. The time is given 0, 0,3 seconds when the switch is on. So the time is given 0, 0,3 seconds. But we do not have tau. We never calculated this. So you're going to calculate tau. Remember, your time constant, you are dealing with an RL circuit. So the time constant, inductance over resistance. Inductance 3, resistance 15. That was going to give us the value of the time constant, which is 0 0.2 seconds. With this time, now let's substitute and determine our current. I am, we already calculated this. This is 8 into 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t. The time, remember that's 0 0.2. Uh, sorry, the time, the time, the time, the time here, 0 0.3. The time constant tau is the one which is 0, 0,2. So with this, you are going to determine or calculate the value of the current when the switch is on that is under a growth that is going to be 6,215 amperes, just like that. So questions can be like this. You just need to be careful how questions are given so that you're not tempted to spend much time answering in another way instead of B answering uh, in another way. Like there are shorter ways depending with the theory part also that we understand about our transient. The theory part has to play a role. So that's what you get. That's what we had, guys, till we meet again.